whenever somebody asks me that about Sub-1, I always uh, emphasize that it's not GMO. Uh, the main reason I do that is because uh, if it were GMO, then it couldn't be grown, uh, and obviously that's not the case. So at the moment, uh, GM rice is not uh, um, allowed in, in, in any country that I'm aware of, although it's, we expect it to come any day now. Uh, but in my opinion, uh, I think uh, they will be accepted uh, at some point in the near future. And I think it's going to give us a lot of tools uh, for further improving rice that we, that we don't have now. Even um, some of the things we do now by conventional breeding, uh, it's, it's, they're quite laborious. It's quite laborious, for example, to combine uh, several genes from different parents into a single variety. And I think GM technology will give us uh, uh, a way to do that much quicker and much easier and you know I can see someday that this will be used uh, you know almost routinely to introduce uh, rice genes into other rice varieties uh, so at the moment that's not the emphasis on, on GMO rice but um, I think that will come eventually uh, at the moment it's more emphasizing genes which are not available in rice at all and so the only way you can get those genes into rice is to introduce them from other uh, species uh, this happens in nature, you know, and so, you know, my personal feeling is, that, is there's nothing wrong with it. Every product has to be evaluated based on, on what it is and not how it was developed, really.